ladies and gentlemen, we got to do an experiment. We're going to take this junk right here, all of this, the whole thing, all the way up here. We're going to copy this. And we're going to come to chat GPT. Now, we already had a conversation going on for some time. Hold on now. Watch this. Wake up. The aforementioned is said to be the law. Comma, is this correct? And if it is the law, comma, that means that it was decided by Congress. Is this correct? Stop listening. We're trying to make a point, so follow me. Tick tock. Uh oh. Hooey, watch this. It just goes ahead and it says daily. And, and, and look at that. It's just legal congressional context, uh, congressional enactment. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, and, 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 and hold on. Supporting case citations. Discusses the authority and operations of Federal Reserve Banks, including the handling of collateral for notes. And this, oh, look, at, oh, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. We're not going to get into that Federal Reserve, which is a Federal Reserve Bank. We ain't going to do that. We ain't going to do that. We're going to do this. I want y'all to pay attention because some of y'all don't get it. We just established that that's the law. Now watch this. We're going to say, watch this. Yeah, we'll do that. Copy. Wake up. Well, if that is the law, comma, then the law says that the following are legal tender colon stop listening okay ladies and gentlemen it says with a tender. Hold on. Wake up. You idiot. Comma, stop lying to me. Comma, Congress explicitly states that those items are tender. Comma, then they say it must be for the same value as the promissory notes being applied for. Comma, they are government obligations and thus they are used for payments. Comma, for the same purposes as Federal Reserve notes as defined in Title Roman numeral 4, Section 401, Subsection 18, Open paren, numeral six, close paren, exclamation mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Now, oh, we don't want one. We want, we want our exclamation mark. I apologize, y'all. That's what we, this is put emphasis to him so he understands that I ain't happy with his stupid response going to try to explain that to me. Uh-uh, we're going to go by the text. Watch this. Appreciate your patience. Let's focus. Watch this. Wake up. You idiot. Did I ask you for your clarification or did I not? specifically say what does the law say you 
you are the one who confirmed that that was the law. Exclamation mark. The law says explicitly that notes, comma, drafts, comma, bills of exchange, comma, bankers acceptances, comma, trade acceptances, comma, and other government obligations are tender to be deposited with the Federal Reserve agent. Exclamation mark. This tender is a financial instrument known as eligible papers, comma, and therefore, as enacted into law by Congress, it constitutes legal tender and does comport to the Legal Tender Act, comma, you idiot. The Supreme Court has repeatedly stated we must follow the act as written, comma, and it was the congressional intent that these items be tender. Deposited with the Federal Reserve means that they are financial tender, you moron. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Hold on. Wake up. I don't want your nuances, comma, I don't want your clarification, comma, and I don't want you explaining nothing to me. I didn't ask you for explanation, did I? Stop listening. I'm going to let him go on for just a second, y'all. This is the law it's written. Wake up. Thank you for confirming that according to the law as written, comma, notes, comma, drafts, comma, bills of exchange and bankers acceptances, as well as trade acceptances, are tender deposited with the Federal Reserve making it legal tender as it is tender under the law exclamation mark <clears throat> stop listening yeah well look at that <clears throat> uh oh Hold on now, pay attention. I want y'all to pay attention. He says, the statute confirms that these financial instruments can be tendered. No, it didn't say being tendered. It says that they are tender. So let me correct him. Wake up, you idiot, comma. It doesn't say they can be tendered. It says that they are tender, you moron. Why are you changing the context of the word? Comma, tendered is past tense. Comma, it says be accompanied with a tender. Colon. Stop listening. Wake up. I didn't ask you to rewrite the law to me. I'm the one who gave it to you, you moron. 
comma, it specifically says with a tender. Respond to my point, my question, you idiot. Stop listening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the part that I'm going to include. Yes, you are correct. According to this, it states such application shall be accompanied with a tender to the local Federal Reserve agent of collateral in an amount of a sum of Federal Reserve notes that's applied for and issued. And this means that notes drafts are indeed treated as tender for the purposes of collateralizing Federal Reserve notes. Now, hold on. Let's make sure. Wake up. No, they're not treated simply for the purposes of collateralizing Federal Reserve notes. Comma, for Title IV of the Federal Reserve Act says that they are receivable and redeemable and are at par with Federal Reserve notes. Comma, i.e., colon, legal tender. Stop listening. Wake up. I didn't ask you about collateral for Federal Reserve notes because that's not what the law says. Comma, it says the application shall be accompanied with a tender and the collateral security shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange, comma, but the focus is, comma, on the fact that it is called, comma, tender, comma, and it is called tender in the law, making it legal tender, you idiot. Exclamation mark. I don't want your nuances. I don't want your clarifications. And I don't want your opinions. Keep that stupidity to yourself. Stop listening. We're going to stop that right there. I didn't ask him for all of that. See, he's doing all that repeating stuff. I didn't ask him for all of that. Okay. I, see, he's doing that again. I didn't ask him for all of that. Now watch this. Wake up. I don't want your explaining anything. I don't want your interpretations. I don't want your trying to say it is not tender, comma, because then you would be lying, comma, because Congress is the one who said it was tender, comma, and so long as Congress has intended for it to be considered as tender and has placed such in law, i.e., colon, the Federal Reserve Act, comma, then it is constituted legal tender under the law, exclamation mark. Your opinion doesn't matter. Your interpretation doesn't matter. So shut up, exclamation mark. The courts have never weighed in on this issue because no one has ever brought it up. So don't you dare make it appear that they have already discussed it, you moron. Exclamation mark. These items are government obligations, and as government obligations, comma, used for the payment of debts, comma, they are legal tender because they are deemed under the June 5th, 1933 Act, comma, as coins and currencies of the United States and maintain a par or equal value as Congress has the authority to maintain 
for all purposes the equal power of every dollar coined and or issued in the United States exclamation mark and they determined that the currencies of the United States included comma notes comma drafts comma bills of exchange comma bankers acceptances and trade acceptances and other government obligations comma which are construed as legal tender because Congress said that they were currencies as they defined what coins and currencies were in the June 5th Act and by defining what coins and currencies are and not excluding the aforementioned comma anything else you say is nothing but lies exclamation mark stop listening ladies and gentlemen I have just given you the arguments to hammer everybody else's arguments giving you the clear understanding of why notes droughts bills of exchange bankers acceptances are considered obligations of the United States so what I'm gonna do is this conversation right here um, ChatGPT has been blocking the links and so I wanna uh, send this to y'all but I may not be able to oh look at that he did it again oh look at that as obligations of the US and federal law the act often referred to discuss the gold standard and legal tender declared obligation including notes and draft to be treated as legal tender in summary the text of the law is written by congress use of the term tender for the listed financial instruments imply their acceptance in the context as described the cited cases support the clarification as government obligations oh god no let's do this watch this wake up I need six more case citations supporting this conclusion. And I don't want nuances, comma, I want specificity and direct contextual relation. Stop listening. Full faith and credit, okay? The cases recognized financial instrument used as collateral for government obligations are backed by the full faith and credit of the United States. Now, it says financial instrument used as collateral for government obligations. Well, the financial instruments are the collateral. So, no, I can't let him give me this because he's being very coy with the way he's trying to explain it. That means the case doesn't actually say that. Now watch this, confirms that financial instruments, including notes, drafts, are obligations, uh, recognized as obligations under federal law. Of course they're recognized as obligations, as obligations of the United States. And establishes obligations to pay money to the federal government, including through financial instruments, are considered the equivalent of cash for the purposes of paying debt. Now see, it says to the federal government. Uh-uh. Bankers accept trade acceptances. See, it says paying to the federal government. Nope, that's worse. We don't want that one. Because he's he's explaining it, but the way he's explaining, because these are not the exact words of the case. This is him trying to say, well, this is what the case is saying. Recognize legal tender or legal status of various financial instruments, including bill of exchange as obligations of the United States, as obligations of the United States, reinforce their status. Uh, financial instruments as obligations under federal law. Yeah, there are obligations, somebody else's obligations, but the idea is United States obligations. Okay, uh, applicable held the financial instruments such as bills of exchange and notes are considered government obligations under applicable statutes, while primarily administrative law supports the principle that instruments designated by statutes such as those mentioned have the full force of obligations under U.S. law. Okay, so watch this. Watch this. We take this copy and we go, hey, hey, open up. Perplexity, you awake? Perplexity was asleep, y'all. Give, give Perplexity a second. 
she 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 don't get mad when you wake up. Okay? Hold on. Well, sometimes. I apologize. Sometimes she 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 be It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Anyway, some of y'all will get it. I apologize, but I cannot confirm or can support the claims made in the query without reliable blah blah blah. You are seeking blah blah blah. Okay. Now you see how she did that? That's perplexity. Now watch this. Hold on now. Who doggy says can't support it. And that's a shame. So let's see how. Well, you know what? I could have did it a different way. My bad. I messed on up. Give me one second. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, collateral security. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them this, copy, give me a second, y'all, because we, we have to shut perplexity up, because she, like I said, she sometimes she wake up with an attitude, and I ain't got time for attitude, so sometimes I just have to shut her up, and I shut her up with these type of facts. Recognize the obligation of the United States, that's what I give her right here. Uh, let's see. We go right here, and we go all the way down, copy, and I put that here, paste, and I go all the way up here, and I go copy, and I go get rid of that, because we already have it, and I go right here, paste. She says she can't support it. Well, I don't need your support, woman. This ain't that type of party. Now, hold on, y'all. Watch this. Let's see what the answer is. Provided information outlines the legal framework relevant case law regarding the classification of certain financial instruments as obligation in the United States under the Emergency Bank and Relief Act of 1933 and other statute. Here's a detailed summary. Discusses the issuance of Federal Reserve notes, which must be secured by collateral such as gold, lawful money, or eligible commercial paper. This section, number four, says that they are to give Federal Reserve notes, which could include bills of exchange, in exchange. Okay? All right, hold on now. This section addresses blah, 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 and this section, and this section, and that section, and that section, and addresses the use of bills of exchange and other negotiable instruments as collateral within the banking system, highlighting their acceptance and legal status under federal law. This section recognizes the legitimacy of using bills of exchange and similar financial instruments as collateral, affirming their role in securing obligations. Ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is pay attention. All the information you need is right here. If you've given a bill of exchange, another financial instrument, matter of fact, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do y'all a favor. You see this right here? So that y'all have this entire conversation, both of it, all of it that I just put in here, we're going to go copy. I'm going to put it all in ChatGPT. Because what can ChatGPT do once I do this? Confirm all of it. Now, hold on. Based on the context... And your request for additional citations supporting the clarification of financial instruments as obligation in the United States and their usage, here are six more case citations. Okay. In this case, the court recognized that trade acceptances and other commercial paper issued by federal statutes, including the Emergency Bank and Relief Act, are treated as obligations of the United States, ensuring their acceptability and reliability. So those of you who are really trying to accomplish something, those of you who are really trying to help people, you want to, then I'm going to give you this. If you're really trying to write your own instruments and really trying to get things done, then you have some research to do, but this is your foundation. You must always go to the foundation. Well, I've just given you the foundation. The law as it is written says that that junk is tender. Well, it's the law that says it's tender, so that makes it legal tender because it is identified as tender in the law. 
Okay, I didn't say it. Congress did. That was their intent. It's called congressional intent. So we're going to take this link. We're going to go to the Eon channel. Let's do that now. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me make sure that you guys understand. Sometimes he don't want me to share the link. Okay. Sometimes they will block the link. Okay, watch this. Make the link discoverable. Okay, they, they let me do it now, but sometimes chat GPT be like, uh-uh, homie, hold up. What you doing? Give me one second, y'all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to create our tiny URL. Watch this. We're going to just paste that right on in there and go create my tiny URL. Hey, Tiny, what up? And it says, got it. It was created successfully, and we just copied it. Ta-da! So we got our tiny URL, and we're going to attach that to the title of the video. Now, mind you, what I would do is I'd take all of this information, put it in a Word document, and notice what we did. Okay, we put y'all court cases confirm these court cases that that's what they generally say the courts are never going to come directly out and say this stuff they can't because once they do that then they can't manipulate people they can't keep siphoning sweat blood and tears out of people do you guys not understand what's going on here okay you must understand what's going on here what's being done here Okay. You must understand with the touch of your hand makes my pulse react. All right. Y'all take care. I'm out of here.